Can I just say it's 50 degrees out this morning and it's freezing. I'm freezing. I, I, I like the season change, but I don't like the cold. <laughs> Good morning. Uh, welcome to the hometown explorer. My name is Becky. Sorry, I've been gone. Um, it's been a busy summer. I, of course, obviously I haven't recorded in a while, or at least I haven't recorded for my channel in a while. So I found this place in Weathersfield called Heirloom Market at Comstock Fair. And they're a little cafe. They also have a kind of market attached to them as well, like seeds, of course. Well, I shouldn't say of course. I haven't even told you any of the history. They have a lot of stuff going on. I thought it was really interesting and I thought it was a nice little spot. So I wanted to check them out and I figured I need to take you with me. <laughs> it's been a while. It's, it's really early. It's like not even seven o'clock. They open at seven. So my goal is to get there for when they open. Comstock Fair has got a pretty solid seed history in Wethersfield. It was actually operated, I think it was considered the longest running seed company in America. It was in running for over 200 years. But Weathersfield's seed history goes back, it looks like as far as like 1636. It starts with the guy who, uh, who established the town. And I, from what I read, it sounds like he was a farmer and they essentially kind of utilized his crops to whatever, when he passed away to kind of pay off whatever debts that he had. So I thought that was interesting. So we're gonna go and we're gonna try and see, I wanna try and see if I can go and check out the market as well because it looks pretty interesting. That's terrifying. It looks like it could be a person. I literally like missed my mouth and spilled my coffee all over myself. <laughs> conveniently right before my food was ready and then my alarm the alarm they gave me like a little buzzer which I thought that was a cool idea and I was able to go and like check out the little market they have it's not huge but they have a lot of really cool stuff definitely a lot going on in there it's pretty cool we're gonna go home and we're gonna try this burrito and see how it is oh wow Wow, this looks really good. I'm pretty excited about this. Maybe it's just some salsa. Ooh. All right, so let's see how this is. I, I wanna try it without the sauce before I try it with the sauce. It's loaded with a lot of different things. There's beans, eggs, onions, peppers, tomatoes. Mmm. Wow, that's really good. A lot of flavor. Nice and toasted on the outside. It's really good. All right, let's try it with the sauce. I'm assuming this is like a, ooh, a little vinegary. It smells spicy. Oh gosh, I'm losing beans. Hmm, it's good, it's sweet. It's really good. So overall, I think I think the heirloom market is a, it was a pretty cool place. I mean, the history of the building I think is really interesting too. I mean, it's nice that they're kind of keeping some of that heritage alive with having a bunch of seeds there. They do sell seeds there. They have a lot of local produce, um, like you'll see or, or you have seen. So a lot of local honey, some local maple syrup, which I thought was awesome too. Uh, some Vermont maple syrup. They also have milk from a local dairy in Bolton, which I think that's awesome. You know, I, I feel like, you know, farm fresh milk is not a, a very easy thing to come by. So I just, I just think that's super awesome. They have glass bottles for, you know, a deposit, which would be nice if we could get back to that. I just think it's, it's just, it's just way better for the environment. I know that they have their hours listed on their website. Uh, the only thing that I could really like give them as, as a piece of advice, maybe like give some descriptions as far as your menu on, on your website. Cause I didn't, I couldn't really find like a good description of what things were. I ended up actually, so I got the breakfast burrito and I also got um, a macchiato, which I later spilled on myself. They do the macchiato in a traditional way, which the way that she described it was like two espresso shots with some foam on it. The burrito is really good. There's a lot of flavor. The ingredients are fresh, which I love. I would give this, on a scale of one to five, maybe 4.5. I think it's really good. I think it's a pretty cool little place. Um, you know, a lot of real history there. So if you can support them, definitely consider doing it. I, I think that's great what they're doing and, and what they've got going on there. All right, well, awesome. All right, if, if we have done nothing 
but encourage you to check out something that is local to you, then I have done my job for today. Uh, so thank you so much, and I will see you in the next one.